Oh, I might be live. See myself looking at, looking into the uh, gorgeous camera. Oh. <clears throat> Right, I, I might be live. I, I don't know. Apparently, I am uh, live. Hello, Michael. Um, I am so sorry, everybody, because we've had a huge storm. It just kicked in one minute after the stream or before the stream started. Um, I have no idea what the quality is going to be like, but I'm going to invite Annie and Dan in. They're all here. Um, bear with me whilst I get this thing working. Um, invite guests. There we go. The others are not. In. Here we go, and then we'll get Annie back in. Um, there we go. Please click that link. One forty-four p ish. Hopefully, Dan's connection and Annie's connection will be better because this connection is therefore not dependent on mine. Uh, my goodness. Bear with me, everybody. I can't believe the storm started uh, just before. Dan has been invited. Um, I really hope that we're not uh, not abandoning things tonight. Uh, I would really prefer not to do that. Dan is here, but he's, I don't know what's going on there. His OBS is connected. Hey, hey, hey. How are you guys, anyway? I hope you're uh, you're okay. Ah, oh, back to 1080. Oh. Well, that's great news. That's great news. Bear with me. here i'm here do we hear dan check check hey guys can you hear me loud and clear not currently wonderful yeah. well, or i don't hear dan um check check is there any signal dan yes, do you hear me yeah. i can hear, I hear dan clear. okay hello mate hey hey um, they hit. There we go. They hit the both of us. That's good. That's hey. good. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, I've sent Annie the the link. Um, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this works. All right. And then what I've got to do is I've got to set up uh, the video for for Annie. Um, I feel terrible about this, Dan. What can you what do can, about the storm? What can you do? Um, yeah. The force of nature. The force of nature. Dan is sharper than ever. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, Actually, in the, in the new streaming studio. So welcome to Ivanus Land. So this will be where you'll be seeing all new unboxings and all that stuff from the next weeks on. So stay tuned. Come on, he knows I haven't got the special sound effects because we're in a different program. He's doing it on purpose. <laughs> uh, no, I've got nothing to hand because I'm tied to a chair. <laughs> Oh, I was just telling people whilst I was possibly streaming or not streaming that I was pretty stressed and now I'm full of lactic acid in my shoulders. So if everybody could please send me a little shoulder massage down the internet, which virtual virtual massage. If we drop tonight, Dan, and everybody that's watching, we will come back. Um, I just don't know how. Um, I feel so bad for Annie. I mean, it looks pretty sharp now. Is, is it looking sharp, everybody? I've messaged Annie, but she's not seen the message. Oh, no. All right. Um, at, least, at least we are online. At least we're online. I, I uh, Okay, well, it seems that the best of the storm, or the worst of the storm, sorry, is uh, is over. Oh no! <laughs> As I said, it starts going boom outside. <laughs> oh man! Um, let's just hang out for a minute, Dan, and, and and see if Annie joins us, and also see if I'm still here in thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Did you did, did you watch Loki? The latest episodes of Loki. Uh, that's probably just a, a different time stream that we're now in. It's not like oh, the main. Okay. Like I only saw episode one, so. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was pretty good. The reason Dan's connection is so great is because it's not streaming via my connection, and also Dan is in uh, in some place. I don't know where Dan is, but he's, he's somewhere near Ivanus Land. Okay, sorry. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Can you do the manual sound effects tonight? <laughs> like the no. human sound effects? No. The human soundboard. I've, got, I've actually been, you know, I've been ill, and and now, oh, now yeah. you, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know that your mic is pressed against your neck, by the way? Nope. I can what? hear. I can hear your heart. Oh shit! Boom! 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 Actually, it's one of this. Um, I don't know if Annie's going to be joining us. I'm so sorry to any people that have come here from Annie's information because she sent out so many cool things um, to get us uh, people watching tonight, and it's all gone wrong. Um, you know plan B would be to just like invite her for another time. So I think so too. It's just you to premiere the the video. Um, ah, I hear. Yeah. So it's a shame. So I'm just you know hoping she'll jump in, but she's uh, she's not responding to my messages because she's probably trying to get into the the other software. No, she's is, uh, she's live on Instagram. That's the reason. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's funny. So she's not seeing my messages. Hang on, let's let's talk to her on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she'll she'll probably join us later. She's live. There we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's currently busking good times with her her base. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! So shall we? Shall well, I mean, what what are the alternatives? We can either just start with the show and see if she joins in a couple minutes. I've just sent her um, a message on the live stream, but she's busy making music. So <laughs> I will monitor. Andy needs a kazooka. Yeah. Ah, Andy's now listening. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, so Annie will be joining Amazing. us. Amazing. <clears throat> this is fun. This is fun of the ultimate fun. Um, I wonder. 
I just thought, I, I think I can share a local video. I think I can do this thing. All right. You can I think, do it. I, I think we can do it. Yeah. It's going to be ropey as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like, not not the, you know not the normal smooth show that everybody's used to um with you know we haven't even got any picks of the week jingles or anything this week nope like i said we got to do them manually then okay okay i'll, I'll um oh great well i've got a cold so it looks like you're up tonight don't <laughs> <laughs> you right, can do, do it nikki <laughs> 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 oh man! Hey, look, I got, I got a new sticker for my um for my mic because I wanted to show off because you always have a sticker and now you don't have uh, a mic on view. No, I've got the new lav mic here, so all the new fancy stuff I'm using. <laughs> Dude, Nick. Um, Poo Ninja's doing the 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 thing for us. Oh, there it is, Dan's pick of the week. <laughs> pick of the week. <laughs> yeah, shall we? Shall we just like kind of kind of try to restart the show like mentally? To get you in the state of uh, dude, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to you know go off and, and come back in that case. Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Okay, okay. Can't hear you now. I've unplugged. Hey everyone, he can't hear us. So uh, I'm in the Ibanez showroom. Uh, we have a nice streaming corner, and I'm going to present you all the new stuff as soon as it arrives. So next week. Oh, Robert Andy. Oh hi Dan. What are you doing here? Hey Andy. What are you doing here oh. in my studio? Oh well. Oh just... we are joined by Annie Clements. Hello Annie. Oh, gosh. Is it working? It is. It okay. is. So is this live happening now? We are currently live on the Guitar Geek YouTube hey. channel. Everybody welcome Annie Clements. Hello. Woohoo! I need to send a new link or post or do anything different. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so what I shared was the link to episode 44, the live event. Correct. And that is gone. That's gone the way of the dodo now. So that's completely gone completely into gone. Interland. We'll find us now. Um, uh, the, luckily, the good people that watch the channel will know where they're watching right now. And they will post messages in the chat because that's the kind of good people they are. Um. <laughs> Subscribe. They were they're about to send the link. Um I've sent it and, on Instagram, Annie. <clears throat> if you wanna if you wanna grab that from your Instagram, I'll just send you a text message with the correct link. Awesome. Oh, first of all, let's put my, my ears in. Um hello everyone. And my husband Thad is here. Who hey Thad. I could not Oh hey, how's anything. it going? Hey um, it's going wonderfully. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Uh, we're asking we're asking if uh, Annie's voice could be turned up a little bit. Do you have a, an external mic? How's or? that? Oh, Amazing. yes. Amazing. Oh, now I can't hear you. You've, you've, oh, because my headphones aren't plugged in. Where's the uh, Hoosler? Here we go. <laughs> Look, guys, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. This is great. This is what it's like. Hi. Okay. That's better. Okay, great. Hi. Much better. Much better. Ooh, Maybe yeah. We're... Perfect. Yay. No, it's ex better. extremely loud in my ears. It, it is a little bit too loud to my ears. It's a little too loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's much better than being too low, but now it's it's kind of it's, uh, everyone's saying now it's way too loud. Yeah. I, I've just turned you down. You were you were in the reds. Yeah. We're turning it down on our end too. I'm gonna talk quietly in the meantime. <laughs> Welcome to the ASMR show Welcome. with Andy, Dan, and Danny. I'm just gonna Okay, sorry. I am sorry. Sorry. Um, okay, wait. It's still extremely. It's screaming, blasting in my ears. All right. Okay. Let's try that. Now you can turn up a little more. What do I? Okay, can't hear anything. How anymore. is that? How's that? How's that? Well, I I can hear you, but I can't hear me. Okay. Wait. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hold on. How's that? Is that? <laughs> now it's very very quiet. Okay. Um. How's the audio for you guys? Is it quiet now? Is it too quiet? Beautiful, crystal Beautiful. clear. 
It's yeah, beautiful. Let us know in the chat. Yeah, it's really nice, really clear. People in the chat, let us know if you have any requests on the audio front. <laughs> I feel great. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm looking at my poor husband. Uh, uh oh, but someone says, no, no, it's great perfection, too nice, perfect. Mixed perfection. messages. We'll go with perfection from Christopher Lewis. How's that? Okay, crystal clear. Great. Now, now, next question. You said you just sent me a link to share with folks. I don't see a link. Is that maybe because did it come from a different account? Yes. It, Here it, it is. My, I see my it. account. Yeah. Um, you Instagram fold. Okay. So now I just need to repost this link, and um, which I can easily do while I'm chatting with everybody. Awesome. Uh, let me do you this. know, I've gone from okay, having hi. a terrible time to, to a great time again. I, I'm <laughs> really back. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, and, I'm gonna... And I apologize to Dan for asking you to stop playing the bloody guitar when I was trying to fix everything. I was like, <laughs> could, you, could you stop playing? Could you stop playing? Oh, could you please stop playing the guitar? <laughs> I'm sorry for... <laughs> Politely shouting at you in my <laughs> polite voice. Polite. <laughs> Shut the front door. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shut the front door. <laughs> Shut the front door. All right. I'm gonna just put the old swipe up icon in here, and we're gonna be so good to go. Man alive. Okay. Hi. Hi. Burn the storm. Buy an Ibanez and borrow one of her bases. Fair okay, enough. let me explain that for you, Annie. We have um, <laughs> we talk about gear normally. We've normally finished with that, and then we buy one of those pieces of gear. We borrow one and we burn one, you know, because we just for a fun game. Ah, so oh, that's Michael, hilarious! Michael is suggesting to burn the storm, buy an Ibanez, which is where Dan is right now, and borrow one of Annie's bases. And I think that's a great <laughs> idea. I think it's a fantastic idea. I love it. All right, I'm posting this to Facebook too, so everybody. You get a link, and you get a link, and you get a link. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Are you free every week, Annie? Now. <laughs> uh, as of now, yes. Um, things are starting to pick up uh, work-wise. Actually, July is going to get super busy. Um, okay. Yeah. But, yeah, it's been a wild time, right? <laughs> Pandemic, <Absolutely>. am I right? All right. <laughs> 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 Yeah. So, okay. Cool. Where do we start? Present, present, and accountable. Where do we start? I guess we should say welcome to the Guitar Stories podcast. With, episode um, with, with us, episode number forty-four with me, right. Andy, Doctor Dan, and Annie Clements. Hi, everybody! So exciting. And you know what's so yeah. crazy? When you sent me the link and you said it was episode forty-four, forty-four is my lucky number, specifically Ooh. forty-four. And so I thought it was really serendipitous that that was the number of this this episode. I I couldn't believe it. I sent I turned it and I was like, it's episode number forty four. Like it's crazy. So I feel <laughs> feel very fortunate. Feel super lucky. Good. Well, now you're here. I'm ready to ex accept some of that luck and, and yeah, good fortune. right. Yeah, it's Burn all it's all storm. coming in. <laughs> so, um, yeah, where do we go from here? We were going to talk about gear, but we've let me let me tell everybody what we've got coming up on the show tonight. Of course, we've got Dan myself, but we're joined by Annie Clements, who is I, I don't know how to describe you, Annie. A a side man that is actually a woman and is that fair? And and yeah. you have your own projects. You're a professional musician from Nashville or living in Nashville. Uh you're obviously very patient. <laughs> <laughs> tell that to my husband. He left. <laughs> I don't know where he is. <laughs> You yeah, also, yeah. She also has a very squeaky door, which we heard as he left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am, I am um, in Nashville, kind of generally, I mean, historically, anyone who is a, a person who backs up an artist is called a side man or, you know, a hired gun. Uh, and obviously, I'm not a man. Hopefully, that's obvious. I mean, if it's not, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. But um, I am the daughter of a side man of a hired gun. Cranston Clements in New Orleans. And he has toured with, you know, a lot of the New Orleans type of folks that you may know, um, Dr. John and the Neville brothers and Boss Gags and lots of different different types of folks. And so he uh, taught me to play. So I grew up in this really unique environment where I was, you know, just had a living example of a working professional touring musician. 
So I was really fortunate to just have carte blanche access to go on and sitting in at clubs and New Orleans Jazz Fest and just having, you know, making a living playing music, not really being so mysterious and being a woman, you know, presents its own set of stereotypes and challenges and uh, having someone like my dad to just kind of help open doors is uh, it's just been, you know, helped me get to where I am today. So uh, I was born in the right time. Danny Clements, the, sorry, I'm, I'm reading all of the comments. <laughs> I'm like a raccoon with these comments back. Uh, we have a question: anyway. Was what is a side man? But I think Annie just covered that. It's it's a part of the backup band. Is that fair to say? Yeah, yeah, that's a great way to put it. It's yeah, the backing band for um, you know any artist you might go see in concert. They all have people who travel with them and play play for them. And um, yeah, it's a really it's a really fun gig because you get all of the the perks of. Uh, touring life and the rock star stuff but you don't have to uh have any of the responsibility for <laughs> uh, you know paying people if nobody shows up or uh doing all the interviews uh other than guitar geek youtube shows of course so uh <laughs> so it's fun yeah it's really fun okay. so when you Do were you younger sorry when oh, you were younger, younger did you get to to travel with your dad a lot or <sighs> How, how did that go? Not a ton of traveling with him while he was touring, um, but locally I would go with him to shows all, all right. the time. So he would always take me out on gigs, and uh, we used to do this this prank. We'd go down to Bourbon Street, and he'd be playing a gig, and he'd sneak me in the club, you know, or you know, have an agreement with the club owner, like, hey, can my daughter, you know, my sixteen year old daughter, whatever, fifteen year old, come in, and he'd be like playing a song. And then he would stop the song and get mad at the bass player on stage and be like, what the heck's wrong with you, man? You can't, you can't play the song. You're fired. You're fired right now. And then he'd turn to the audience and be like, is there anyone here who knows how to play bass? And then me, this 15 year old, I do. And he'd get me up on stage and be like, no way, a 15 year old girl, like, oh my God. And then I'd <laughs> play a song with him and I'd be like, oh my God. So yeah, lots of, <laughs> lots of stuff fantastic. like that. It was pretty fun. It was, it was super awesome and he's the best he's my biggest fan and my he's my inspiration and my hero for sure he's he's a very beloved character in new orleans and uh and beyond but yeah he's awesome that is that's great. really nice i love yeah. that old stick you know that's that i think we kind of miss with the with the rehearsed shows you know that there's just that silliness that mm -hmm. pure entertainment factor I, I love that so deeply totally well and you know, I play, I play, I've played with a lot of different artists doing a lot of different types of shows. And you certain artists you're playing with, you're playing with like a video wall behind you and a, you know, screens and images, and you have to play an arrangement the same way every night. Uh, and then I've toured with other artists like Amos Lee, who is sort of like a folk soul kind of guy. His thing is like, he could go anywhere at any time. And you just have to hold on tight and you don't know, like he'll start playing a song that no one's ever heard before. And we all just kind of start like feeling our way through what's happening. And uh, it's really a fun and special thing. It creates these magic moments that you would only experience if you're there right then and there. So um, I like doing things both ways. I like the very calculated, um, here's the plan. <laughs> But then as you can see, like we just experienced sometimes, uh, very often times plans don't go the way they're supposed to go <laughs> and you have to improvise. So. Very true, very yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. I, I'd, I'd like to think that this is the way it's supposed to go and the other way was the wrong way, you know? Right. That's, that's, but I, I don't disagree with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But now I'm having a great time. We've got some great comments coming in from the people watching and lots of, the, any of the people that watch this show and join in generally are wonderful people who appreciate music. So. Um, we have a great time pretty much every week. Um, awesome. I'd be wrong to say every week, you know, because there are some stinkers. Um, <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> this one's going pretty well so far. Great. <laughs> great. Yeah, there's stinkers everywhere, you know, and that's a whole nother can of worms in, in a discussion to have. Um, uh, yeah. I, and that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> um Sarang says that's also the philosophy behind the bass. So I actually clicked the wrong button, but um, that's a nice random. I don't know what that means. Well, I think it was in reference to something we were 
talking about maybe with live music. It wasn't um, about being a stinker, I'm pretty sure. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no. My, you know, my thing with playing bass, my dad, you know, of course, being a guitar player, he always imagined I'd play guitar. Um, and I started out actually playing piano, which for any of you out there who are musicians or parents who want to get your kids interested in music, can't recommend enough starting with the piano. I think it's the fastest way to understand how music works. <laughs> Take the bass of the future, for instance. So, you know, with a piano, you can see so clearly what you're doing. It's linear. It's not like the neck of an instrument where it's just, you know, it's it's not, you can look at the, here's two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, three black keys. You can really piece things together much more visually in a more simple way, in my opinion. Um, so I played piano for years and years and I kind of got burnt out on that. And then for my 13th birthday, he bought me a bass guitar thinking like, okay, I'll teach your music from the ground up, start on bass and we'll move to guitar. And I ended up just loving the bass because my philosophy of bass playing is my whole MO with music is that I want to play with other people. And that's, mostly what you do with a bass, you know, not a lot of solo bass. I mean, there are, it's not my thing, but uh, my thing is having those magic live moments that you're only going to get once right then and there. And to me, that comes with interacting with other musicians and uh, bass was by far the fastest way to get me doing just that, like playing songs all of a sudden start to finish quickly and then being able to play with my dad and play with my friends. And uh, the other thing is everybody needs bass players. <laughs> <laughs> everybody needs bass players. So many people don't want to be um, a bass player. You know, I don't know why it's so great. Um, and everybody specifically needs singing bass players. I cannot tell you how many calls I've gotten starting in the past month now that tours are coming back again. Everybody needs, first of all, somebody who can do two roles in one uh, and singing bass players, everybody's looking for them. So if you are a bass player, work on some vocal stuff too, because it'll make you so much, even more hireable. Highly recommend it. That's great, uh, great advice. And um, I, I like it when all band members sing anyway, even, you know, just, I think it- Heck yeah, it, I almost said that. It actually. should just be a, 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 it's a familial feeling, you know, when, when, exactly. when everybody sings. And yeah. I, I find it more fun. And um, I started singing through necessity because nobody else in the band would sing. Uh -huh. um, and I started playing guitar because, well, to get girls, but also right. because um, <laughs> it worked. Um, yeah. I've got one. I've got one. She's upstairs. <laughs> totally. It totally worked. <laughs> yeah, it worked um, for me too. Sorry, my dad. Well done. Yeah, thanks. Well done. He's, uh, <laughs> you can stop playing this. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> But he's going to come back later. Right? He's going to come back. You're going to play, play a song, us. right? Yes. Yes. We're going to right. play um, another single. Yes. And and I've already heard it, everybody. So not the live version, but I've heard it. And it is really, really, really good. Dan, have you heard uh, it also? I think I sent it to yeah. you. Yep. You sent me the link. Um, Yay. Funny story. Annie sent me the wrong link. But I, I ended up getting two <gasps> links of two different songs, if I remember rightly. Well, there's two <laughs> different songs that we're going to play, if that's okay. Yes, yes. So, yeah, huh. we're going to play the side pieces, What Would Dolly Do, the video. And uh -huh. then later we can play my song, My Dog. So we have a few viewers, oh, quite a few viewers on. Uh, some of them must have come from your, your, your links and stuff. Yay, um, it's working. You let me know when you'd like to play this video file. Because Let's play it. Then, then do you want to give us a bit of a bit of backstory as to yeah. what side piece is? Heck yeah! Okay, so side piece <laughs> is a very cheeky name that I thought of on an airplane. I get a lot of ideas on airplanes when my brain is like, you know, either over oxygenated or whatever's happening. It's just like, <laughs> oh, side piece. That's what we're gonna call the band. So I, my dream ever since I was a kid was to have an all female band. And uh -huh. I, another dream, once I became working as a professional musician, was to find other women who were playing, you know, on the types of stages and the types of artists that I was playing with. It's like, let's get all these side women together and do our own thing. And that was, um, that's what side piece is and what side piece means. So we're a four piece band made up of side women. Um, we all play with different artists. Um, 
our fiddle player has toured with Shania Twain and Shakira and the Jonas Brothers and Big and Rich. She's actually out on the road with Alabama right now. And uh, so all kinds of different crazy stuff. So we all we all do that kind of work. And um, we got together and formed our own project. So we play, you know, the songs of our, our bosses. And then we also write songs. And so it took us literally the pandemic to finally quit gigging all the time and mm -hmm. actually have time to be like, all right, we've got to record an EP. So we recorded these songs while we were all quarantined. So this is all, all the tracks where everyone did them at their own houses and sent them here to this studio and said, you know, put it all together, mixed it. And then we got our friend to uh, put together this video that we're about to show you. And it's our very first single, our very first release. And I'm so excited about it. And I'm so excited to share it with all of you. I can't believe it. Thank you so much for uh, for tuning in. Okay, do you want to share it? I do. It is yeah. possibly not going to go smoothly because this is our backup <laughs> interface. Um, <laughs> But to go with the flow, imagine you're with Amos and he, you know, goes off on something in in C sharp minor and you know, <laughs> Roy G. Um, I'm currently clicking buttons. It is okay. still working. I have the file on my Mac and it is asking me to to play it. Um, I'm going to press open and see what happens. Oh, it worked. Okay, so now I have the file loaded. I think, I think if I if I kick that um it'll play so give me just a second everybody and you'll be joined by side pieces first single enable uh, entitled what If you don't like the road you're walking, pave one for yourself. You can't find the answers in the good book on the shelf. Under that wake of wisdom lies a simple truth. In times of trouble, I ask myself, what would Dolly do? Do do do. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. 
Oh, and it, oh. it's an honor firstly if i can say on behalf of, of myself and dan it's an honor to have that track played for the first time ever on on a guitar stories podcast i can't believe it yeah. <laughs> it, it's so positive it's got such yeah. a wonderful vibe about it it's so much fun and it encapsulates everything that i love about music it doesn't take itself too seriously yeah. but it's just it's and it, it has beauty that's awesome thank you oh, i'm so excited i'm so excited oh man yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna fall in love with the humor, but also most importantly <laughs> with the bass line because that bass line is so hey, great thank to hear. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I um, no, I appreciate you guys sharing it, and I and I, yes, it's it's definitely cheeky, um, <laughs> but it's it's fun. Yeah, and it was so fun to just like we did a all of the dollyisms, and there's a lot of like layers upon layers of you know expressions that she says and you know i love her expression uh, it costs a lot to look this cheap that's one of my favorites of hers. <laughs> there's tons of stuff in there and, and in the video and everything you know lots of layers of dolly and she is she's such a universally beloved person she's definitely a, a big time hero so have you ever been in the same building as her or near her or um you know that's a good question i have everyone all the artists that i've worked with um jennifer nettles of sugarland and um marin morris have both worked with her really closely and unfortunately i haven't been a part of those things so marin's side project the high women they perform with dolly and jennifer nettles sugarland my old boss um played dolly's mother in several movies about dolly's life and so she's worked a lot with dolly over the years but yeah wow. so like very six degrees of, of dolly parton <laughs> but uh someday someday i'll maybe i'll be near enough to her to smell her perfume and get some <laughs> mojo yeah any, any what do you think what would what would dolly or how would dolly react when she saw the video <laughs> i don't know i really hope she sees it and we really um made the video based on that hope and tried to find, you know, photographs of her, you know, accepting different awards that she's stated she's really proud of. And, uh, you know, like the Dolly sheep, uh, they're named after her. And so, <laughs> you know, all these things to try to try to make her, I wanted at that scene, I was really fighting for, you know, you better grow a pair to be like two pairs that like kind of appeared and like, kind of looked like <laughs> various genitals flipped up and down. And uh, that one got, got nixed and one of the girls was like we got it we got to do the sheep and i think it was it was the right call so. yeah. the, the, the sheep got everyone you could tell yeah, i like the sheep yeah i didn't yeah. know yeah. if it was too inside for for folks to uh to get but it seemed like it worked so that's good I so. <laughs> I, I i mean you, you seem to be nailing a lot going on there just to analyze the whole thing as an obvious music expert here right now but um but the, the song is great but you also recognize that the video has to be fast-paced and entertaining and they just you know when the whole package just kind of works that that's why it, it, I, I love it it's, awesome it, it just Thank all works all so well together it's um oh we've got okay. some some sheep news from the 25th Rahe. birth anniversary this year wow mm. hey, that's awesome there you congratulations go. yeah that's awesome so if Dolly Parton doesn't see it, maybe one of the sheep will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if one of the sheep sees them, do they all see it? How do clones work? Yeah, it's just, yeah, that's how it works. It, it just gets passed telepathically yeah. or genetically. <laughs> I don't. I watched the movie Infinite this week, and that really threw me on genetics and and past lives Ooh, and stuff. I haven't seen that one. I I won't comment on it, but you know it, it's got stuff. It's got stuff. It's okay. got stuff. I will say there's a, there's a severe lack of sheep in the movie. Okay. Um, <laughs> I did write to the director, and they will be looking at that in the sequel. All right, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. I cool. kind of want to play the song again, but um. Just <laughs> <laughs> play number. Well, the song is available if you want. It's on all of the streaming platforms on apple music spotify uh it's up on youtube the video is live you can follow us on instagram at side piece band and the, you can find the link to the video in our bio so 
it's everywhere. And my goodness, I don't know if anybody out here watching has ever tried to put a song out into the world, like in a grand way. I mean, we were stressed today trying to get the podcast or the interview to air on YouTube. I ran into so many hiccups with the, that and then the My Dog song. And I mean, there's so much back end metadata or like you telling me like, we can air the video, but YouTube's going to flag it as a copyright issue. And you, you have to, um, there's just so much about that, that as a side woman, I've never had to understand or learn about. Mm -hmm. And I have a very deep appreciation of everybody out there who is their own independent artist trying to make this stuff happen because there's, it ain't easy. Did you hear that with my baby? Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's right on cue. It ain't yeah. easy. Wah, it ain't easy. Wah. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Yes. Um, but yes, it is, it is, uh, it is a lot of work that goes into, uh, to putting this stuff out in the universe. And there's a lot of people I, I have to thank, especially my husband for putting the track together and working so hard under mm -hmm. extremely adverse circumstances. Uh, you know, everyone having different levels of gear and microphones and, you know, it's not like coming to our studio and just plug it in and we have it all ready to go. I mean, there was, a lot involved of mm -hmm. making all of this sound consistent um based on how did, go ahead how did how did the the, the writing process go then like it, did, did you that's were a you song one? that's a song that we wrote a couple years ago um okay. but i've written lots of other songs over zoom and you know with various people uh during this pandemic which has been super wild <laughs> <laughs> but somehow, you know, it's funny. Uh, I tell this story a lot. I, I also teach students over Zoom and I have actually for many years. So I've got folks all over the country that, you know, I've been working with over the years. And, uh, you know, just when you're talking to someone over the computer, there can be obviously a distance there. But I was working with this one student and, um, she asked me like, oh, or she was just like, oh man, my hair tie fell out. I need another hair tie. And without thinking, she's like in St. Louis, Missouri and I'm in Nashville. And I, without thinking, I was like, I took mine off my wrist. And I was like, oh, here, just take, take mine. Here you go. <laughs> oh, wait, you're in St. Louis. <laughs> but we were just so like, I didn't even think about it. You know, I was just like, yeah, here you go. Here you go, my friend. Um, so yes, I think <laughs> even in the strange circumstances, you can, develop uh an intimacy and a back and forth to where uh you can make some cool stuff happen sure. no doubt about that. sarang sorry dan uh how did writing yeah. work over zoom asking because the, the latency drives him nuts so yeah it all that stuff is really challenging um you can't like we can't be playing together at the same time and working on something you know so it is a very much a dance of like what just happened just now two people start talking okay let's decide who's talking Okay, you go. And uh, so, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's not easy, especially if there's more than two people, you know, when we have side piece band meetings, and there's four of us on, and we're trying to throw out ideas and stuff. That's super challenging. Um, so, you know, whittling it down to, you know, two people is definitely more optimal two or three. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, you can't, you can't, play together. And then like with my vocal students, I teach voice and bass. Um, you know, I have a lot of them get a piano for themselves and give themselves play, you know, just chromatic, just super to do warm ups and stuff, you know, I'll, I'll play and have them sing that riff and, you know, go back and forth. And so you, you get, you get into this, like, all right, go, go. You know, it's like, a, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely, it ain't easy, but, uh, but it can be done. Tanya. But I feel for everybody who has had to go to school online throughout all of this, uh, who's had to, you know, shift to working from home. I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely been, I mean, it's challenging with me one-on-one -on -one with a student. I can't imagine having to teach a, a whole class full of students. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine. No. No, um, thanks. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I'm horrible at talking over people. <laughs> I, 
I hear you, Pooh Ninja. There I'm smelling, he is. Smelling what you're cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Your name is Pooh Ninja. <laughs> I'm so sampling that. Pooh Ninja is a regular on every guitar channel in the world, and now you've accepted accepted him into your social Get media in life. Your Poo so, Ninja. yeah, he's going to be all over that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How do we do this when Thad comes back and you play the song and your your young one um, is she also going to join in? Or, or? No, my mother in law is here, so oh, wow. we are so fortunate. Um, my mother in law, Thad's mom, lives a couple miles away, and she has just saved our behinds mm -hmm. <laughs> during all of this. So she comes over and hangs out with us during the week, and so we can teach and you know play and do our thing so um <laughs> there's a little poo in all of you that's the truth poo ninja that is the <laughs> truth i love it I'm, i'll text thad get him back in here if y'all want to talk to him he loves talking Absolutely. about poo. in fact it's funny you bring this up poo ninja um oh here he is babe we were just talking about wow. poo. oh great. and so out of context <laughs> i haven't even said it yet will you tell everyone what your fantasy football name is uh, ain't talking about poo. Ain't talking about poo because wow. we would talk about it so much on tour that we finally got banned from talking about it. So um, <laughs> greetings, everybody. What? When when you are on tour, uh, you are living on a tour bus, which is, you know, about half the size of this room that we're currently in. And so everything you do is uh, is known to everyone on that bus, including uh, when and where you go to the bathroom generally and uh, oh. do you need headphones so you can join in? No, I love being a part of the conversation and Without having no clue hear. what's going on. No, uh, I'm not. Yeah. I'm, it's just oh, yeah, I'm so, assuming right now that you're talking about poo. We're talking about poo because there's a gentleman. Well, I don't know if he's a gentleman. It could be a woman uh, named Poo Ninja who uh, that's their I get the poo bar, but how, how do you ninja poo? Well, Poo, Poo Ninja just said there's a little poo in all of us. Okay. So, um, okay. and it just made me think about your <laughs> ain't talking about poo fantasy football name. Yeah. And uh, and then you appeared. So so here we are. That's great. Talking love, about yes. poo as we were expressly told. I just not thought you to were. I just thought you were down here just kind of mates. talking to yourself. I heard no response. So I thought you were like. <laughs> so, ladies there gentlemen, she goes again, have, talking to herself downstairs. I have my in-ear monitors in, so only I. Can hear what's happening. Thad, um, <laughs> Thad does not have ears in, so he only hears my one-sided part of the conversation. About All that. right. Okay, so we've got Thad down here. We're going to play some music at some point if you guys are ready for that, or play whatever you want, whatever you want to do. Um, Dan, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm out for a minute. I'm having such a great time. I just yeah. want to watch and listen. <laughs> <laughs> the poor chronicles. <laughs> can you let me know when I can say something? Yeah, you can say something. Where's I can't tell if someone else is. I can't find it right now. Should know. we come off of ears then for a second? Is that no. okay? Is that going to jank up your world? Well, we'll have to change the audio thing. It's not a big deal. But uh, I just wanted to say uh, to uh, all of our geeky friends out there, um, thank you so much for uh, your wonderful spirit. Yes. I just want to say that when I saw your uh, base of the future video, I felt comforted and I felt peace. And that's something in this industry that that you don't have a lot of, especially in the you know in the uh, social sphere. It's 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 very kind of. Uh, uh, There's a lot of people who poo on you. Yeah, but Woo! I want I just appreciate so much. I uh, like after we saw your video, I thought you know what. I want to just load up the family and the dog and go to the hardware store with you. And then mm -hmm. we can go to the grocery store and hang out and yeah. And buy things. And yeah. Things because and it was, it was, uh, you're presenting information in a very, uh, real life and fun and lighthearted, uh, way where you're giving high quality information, but not on a level that we feel as though we must, uh, bow before you because you're uh, uh, like all knowing, super, uh, superhuman, and we're beneath you. Oh. So I really, I don't know. I just really, I can't hear what anyone's saying or know anything. Well, I feel like I'm, it, it was, it was just, 
it's such a, it's been such a joy to, to yeah. see a lot of your stuff. So thanks yeah, for, for thank what you. you're putting into the universe. The vibes are great. Yeah. Thank you, Seth. Thank you, you so much. That means you might be like a bad mouthing me now. You can say anything you want to because <laughs> I can't hear you. You <laughs> can't hear you. Yeah, let's go ahead and. Uh... I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare. Um, what? How would you like to do this? Because I, I am so psyched for this. Um, I see. Uh oh, somebody check the ground connection. Let's. We're just gonna play it. Um, can you see both of us, or can you only see half? Not yet. What I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this. Um, oh, I don't want to do that. There we go. We're gonna be down here. Okay. Now, um, what do we need to do so that you can hear me and Thad? Well, I guess I you don't have me. to hear anything. No, 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 I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This it's like a show when the monitors go out and you don't know what's going on. You just gotta That's see what true. happens. That's true. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. Cool. Well. Well then, uh, yeah, we're gonna play a song. So um, this is at, at the start of the pandemic. I was probably six months pregnant, and I woke up, and this entire song just like appeared in my mind. And I literally grabbed my dream journal and just wrote it down. And um, Fad was on a phone call in the kitchen, and I like walked into the kitchen, still like half asleep in my pajamas. I'm like, hey, I just wrote this song. Here, let me play it for you. And got an instrument and tried to play it. And then he was like, that's a fun, funny song. Let's, let's record it. So <laughs> he, uh, he made this track here in the studio and we just released a video for it. And we just put it up on iTunes and Spotify and all the different, all the different places. And um, the idea behind this song is called my dog. And basically when, you know, a guy is cheating and he's a total butthole, not in a good poo way, like Pooh Ninja, um, he, you know, you call him a dirty dog. And I'm like, wait a minute, dogs are the greatest thing that's ever happened on the planet. Why would you use that word as an insult? So um, that's that's the genesis behind this song. So we'll play. I might, I don't know if I can hear what's happening. In each of this. I'll you just hear? play it on regular bass. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just playing regular bass. Yeah. When a man's been cheap, folks like to call him a dog. But if you're asking me, that expression is entirely wrong. Because a dog is loyal. Dog is true and no, all, he ain't nothing like you. If you were my dog, you jump for joy every time I came home. Have zero interest in your super cell phone. We'd be dancing in the kitchen and I'd scratch all of your edges. If you were my dog, I'll make you the same meal every night. You gobble it up and you never think twice. You and me, we'd be having a ball. Okay, you got one thing in common. You both know how to hog a pen. But he's a great A cup. He's bright eyed. He never sees a red. Well, he knows how to listen. He knows how to beg. And he's happy just to hunt my leg. If you were my dog, he'd jump for joy every time I came home. At zero interest in your stupid cell phone. We'd be dancing in the kitchen and I'd scratch all of your edges. If you were my dog, I'd make you the same meal every night. You gobble it up and you'd never think twice. You and me, we'd be having a ball. If you were my dog. Oh no, you'd never leave me alone. Not alone, not alone, not alone, not alone. Cause I'd be giving you bone after bone after bone after bone after bone. <laughs> if you were my dog, you get so excited when I drive my car. You be picking up sticks in the yard. And I love all of your litter, yeah. All your Woo! brothers and sisters. But you were my man. Garbage can ain't picking your shit up with my own two hands. Think of how much better we be getting along if you were my dog. Oh, yeah. If you were my dog, you'd be such a 
such a good boy. If you were my dog, I know that's right. If you were my dog, hey. <laughs> that song does have the the s word in it which is especially for you poo ninja yeah so. fantastic yay thanks thank you so 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 much um i don't know why i don't know why thad ran off at the end but um... yeah he ran away <laughs> they, they want to know why you ran off Oh, I was trying to find. He's it. trying to find a splitter, I think. So, so I can like pop it. He can jump that. All right. Ooh. I thought maybe he was off maybe for a poop. Any <laughs> tips on uh, singing and playing bass? In this I'm a singing bass player, and I find it hard sometimes. It is. Uh, it is a challenging thing. It's a lot like patting your, your head and chewing gum and rubbing your stomach, or you know, whatever that expression is. Um, several tips that I have. I highly recommend. Anytime I'm struggling with anything, I break it down into the smallest pieces possible. So if I'm having to sing a line that is super counter to a bass line, before I start trying to play bass and like get in my head about it, I tap it out on the steering wheel of my car. <laughs> so I literally sit there and airplay the bass line. Ding, 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 ding. You know, start doing this or whatever. And then I start singing whatever I've got to sing. I just move my fingers to the beat that I play. And I sing over it, whatever it is. It could be crazy, could get real weird, I don't know. But yeah, in that way, you don't frustrate yourself by trying to do everything at once. And you just break it down into small pieces. And literally, and then you can practice in your car. You can practice anywhere you're going. Uh, so that's my biggest tip. Is just I turned the speakers on. It did, did it mess up everything? Oh, can you guys? I can hear. Can you now. guys hear that? We're all good. We're all good. Can, yeah. hear right. can you do? I think one of the coolest things that you do is uh, the what is the low rider? Low rider. This was something I um, I used to do when I was a teenager, learning how to sing and play bass. So I would come up with little weird tricks. All right, let me see if I can get the line under my. Good. Well, shit, pardon me. I can't get it in my head. There it is. There it is. So y'all know war. This is the really hard part. <laughs> so... That's a very like, what is happening? What is happening? Oh my God, uh, two opposite things. So that's a fun a fun exercise to, uh, to really stress yourself out and make you wanna throw stuff. Throw your own poo, poo ninja. I'm never gonna let it go. No, clearly. <laughs> Don't let that, hold on to that poo. Yeah. I am constantly. I can't wait till later tonight when uh, my name becomes poo ninja. <laughs> Poo Ninja. Hey, Poo Ninja, can uh, you ready for dinner? Hi, Poo Ninja. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I, I'm having such a good time. I just think that I almost gave up on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Never give up. Never. But, you know, it, it did enter my, my thoughts. Yeah. Um, yeah. Our reschedule could have been in the cards, but we did it. We persevered. We did. Um, We've been treated to what would Dolly do? We've been treated to my dog. Yeah. Um, I, I guarantee you, we have like 59 people watching right now. You have 59 new fans for sure. Yeah. Um, it's just so much fun, isn't it, Dan? Yeah. Oh, Wait, Dan, Dan's mic has stopped working. Dan, I think you're yeah. shutting your cable again. <laughs> hey, Dan has... is here. Can you see him? There he is. Yeah, oh, we can hear you. Yeah. There he is. Ryan right. is in the chat, as always, picking up some tips on how to run a podcast. <laughs> how to get the greatest guests on the show. I love yeah. it. I love it. Um, so what, what have you guys talked about? Give me the brief uh, synopsis. What have we talked about? We talked uh, about... 90% poo. A lot, yeah. lot of poo. Love poo talk. I got that. Ain't talking about poo. Uh, talked about being a side woman. 
some childhood memories with my dad. Okay. Uh, side piece, the nature of the band. Okay. And um, yeah, that's, that's probably. Let's let me put you up there so we can see both of you. Sorry, not oh, me. Oh, okay. Sorry. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Third. Third's in in the chat. Um, Hi guys. How's what we going? haven't spoken about is how you two are like the perfect couple. Yeah. <laughs> we met at work. Um, we did meet at work. So we were actually at the same audition for Sugarland back in 2006. And it's kind of funny because so there, the band used to be a trio and the, one of the original members left and they became a duo. And at that point, they reformed some members of the backing band. So they needed a rhythm guitar player and a bass player. And uh, they also needed a female vocal harmony because one of the members who departed was a woman. And so Thad got the call to audition on guitar from one of the other bass players who was auditioning. <laughs> so, uh, so it was kind of a bummer, friend, because I ended up the gig, uh, and but it worked out. You know, we met and got married and stuff. So, so it's cool. Yeah, worked out pretty. <laughs> yeah, good. worked out pretty great. We, we we secretly dated for about four years when all along, of course, everyone knew what was going on. Yeah. And one day, Jennifer, the singer, called me into her dressing room, and in her wonderful southern way uh let me know that of course everyone uh knows what's going on and we're <laughs> not, at this point in time we're playing you know over 200 dates a year yeah. and we're never home so she said hey if you uh i don't know if, if we're saying dirty words or not but if you f this up uh one of you just has to be the adult if that means somebody leaves you deal with it mm -hmm. uh so she gave her blessing and and here we are you know what 10 years later. That's 10 years well, of marriage. Well, yeah, 10 years, years four years. So it's been, you do the math. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I'll say that the pandemic has been really, the pandemic has been awesome having a uh, dork and a musician uh, who shares the same traits that I have of being a dork and a musician because we've been able to um, play lots of Metallica. Play lots of Metallica. <laughs> and it's just been, it's been constant, just like, oh, it's like summer camp all along and uh yeah we've been super fortunate and uh like i mentioned earlier um you know we had a baby last june in the middle of the pandemic uh and had gotten pregnant before the pandemic started um and actually the timing worked out very fortuitously for us because I, we were both supposed to be on tour and i was going to start touring again with Marin uh, after 10 weeks of a maternity leave, which Marin also had a baby 11 weeks before I did. So okay. we timed it uh, pretty wonderfully. <laughs> and uh, so we were both supposed to be brand new moms on the road with babies and we had everything all sorted out. And uh, oh yeah, save room on the hotel. That's exactly what Sugarland's manager told yeah. us when we uh, announced our engagement. <laughs> that was <laughs> <laughs> like oh we can finally start saving some money on hotel rooms <laughs> but yes um so we got to stay home for a year and hang out with our kiddo and play metallica and i mean it hasn't been like a walk in the park it's been super scary and no one knows what's gonna happen to the music industry but we made the best of it and um yeah well we made a good. ton of music and and we sure did we're able we recorded to... all the the eps side piece and my dog and yeah i don't know if she told you about that i but, did but tell him about how we pieced it together basically uh i i'm told hey we're we're, we're gonna make uh, some recordings uh uh and no one has any gear so half of that song was just like i recorded the acoustic <laughs> guitar part uh on my laptop speakers uh as the microphone can you just drop that in okay uh, hey, uh, we the the drums were recorded on a four channel zoom um uh camera record but so, they sound fucking great so it was it was one of those things that everybody was at the beginning trying to say how do we make music yeah how do we do this when it's when when guitar center is closed and you can't just get together at the studio mm -hmm. and it was it was kind of fun to just kind of see what you can uh, do in uh, in those times being ingenious yeah so. hey, that reminds me we should uh plug the gear fest hang coming up oh yeah on friday so we're going to be on a panel about side people uh mm -hmm. for sweetwater's gear fest which you're going to be covering right you'll be there i'll be there yeah uh, i don't know who i'm covering yet because of the time difference um yeah. i want to do something that's while i'm awake so that'd be cool um, <laughs> yeah yeah, so we'll yes. be 
Maybe we'll see. So you are live. you guys actually live streaming or is it a pre-record? I think we're live. It's mm -hmm. um, t it's three p.m., two p.m. Central Time, uh, state you know, yeah, state time. So three p.m. Eastern time, and same time yeah, as left. we started. Today. I think it's uh, I know it's us and the drummer for Luke Bryan, Luke Bryan, and then another guitar player that that. Uh, had a pretty cool resume and I didn't, I didn't know him. I don't know if he's from here or not, but it was, it was pretty, I think it should be pretty rad. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the, the, you know, the, the, when they were talking to us about doing the panel, they said, Hey, well, people might just have some questions about being a side man. And I instantly kind of dove into, uh, Oh, great. We can talk about literally the things that people forget about when you're on tour, which is the other 23 hours of the day. Right. And really, you know, playing kind of is one twenty fourth yes. of, uh, of life, on the, life on the road. And it's, can people get along with you for the other 23 hours? And if they enjoy life with you in those times that really um, makes things, makes things fun. Cause you, if, it just takes kind of one, uh, one drop of cyanide to uh, poison the well, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Can you say cyanide okay. during a pandemic? Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know about that. But yeah. So yeah, lots, lots to chat about. Should be good. Um, I, I, I think you guys should definitely have your own show. I would watch the hell out of that. Oh, thanks. What um, kind of topics would you want us to cover we, if we, we had a show? Talk about poo. That's really poo. Cool. What's for breakfast? Anything. I guarantee you that I know Dan and I would watch you guys just talk about anything oh, uh, and then sort of randomly play some music. Well, Love you, that. Um, well, you're welcome to just come to the States and, and uh, let us host you for a week or so. And then you could observe our lives and and decide if it if you wanted to uh, outvote yourself on whether yeah, that well, should what be. What we need to trip. do is just go on tour. Same, oh, same thing. yeah. Same thing. Live in a yeah. toothpaste tube with us yeah. for a month. Yeah, you might, you might, uh, yeah, who knows? <laughs> you might change your mind. I, I like the, so the typical, the typical day is uh, the little one wakes us up at 545. Every morning. And oh, then it, it's, uh, it's a little bit of, of kind of catching, you know, letting the, the dust settle as she runs around. And then, uh, uh, the most important part of the day happens, which is swim she's class. no, no, no. This is before swim class. Oh. It's she sits in her high chair and I control the jukebox, which is a thorough education on uh, heavy metal throughout the ages. Yes. And uh, so far, I can say that our daughter responds with more favorable dance moves to things like Megadeth, Megadeth. or Iron Maiden than she does to say the Beatles, which only. It is you know, it's, it's going to be great. Well, you you can control the jukebox. How long does it take to restring all those instruments behind the couch? <laughs> I, I I picked up this bass literally uh, for the first time since probably the Grammys, uh, and I realized that the strings on this bass were probably were probably changed by Paul McCartney uh, in nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> Because literally, literally, I'm not big on changing bass strings. She always gets mad if, if like I go, oh, okay, I got a while here. I'm gonna set up a couple of guitars today, and then I'll change strings on one of her basses and set it up, and then not tell her. Yeah. And then and I get in like, big trouble. Bing, 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 bing. Like not, not my favorite bass yeah. sound. I like. Yeah. I like old dead. I strings. guess not many, not many guys uh, get in trouble. Sorry, guys. Dan and I are gonna leave. You okay to carry on? You know. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go, go and watch this on my couch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I hope we didn't. Uh, I know. We, we go guarded your show. Not sorry, at all. Sorry. This is brilliant fun. Um, uh, Dan, your mic has dropped out again. Yeah. <laughs> um, a, a question. Have you heard of the band Beatallica? No. no. Oh, you're going to like this. It's Beatles, Beatles songs done in the style of Metallica. Uh -uh. You, uh -uh. you, what you have done just is just the, code. the circle uh, is unbroken now. Oh my God. B Talica. B Talica. It's on. We never I... have to listen to anything else <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah. I amazing. don't know. I mean, I, I heard them on CD, like on a, a bootleg of a bootleg, possibly 15 years ago, but I will definitely okay. find them for you if they're not readily available. But okay. it is as genius as it sounds, and it's Amazing. done so. Yeah, it's 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 just 
Oh, it's got, this is great. It's amazing. Two ninjas weighing in on a Black Sabbath for breakfast, lynch mob for lunch, and Dio for dinner. Uh, we're uh, I, right now. We wanted to do uh, our latest band is called Kiss of Death, which is uh, uh, a hybrid of Megadeth and Kiss. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah, Kiss of Death can open for Metallica. Yeah, I love That's that. That's good. That's awesome. There was a uh, speaking of there was. Uh, uh, several artists years ago based out of Nashville uh, and they were solo kind of um, just pop dudes. Uh, this is because Nashville has a rock scene and a pop scene and all those things. Just because of our geographic location, you can tour and get anywhere mm -hmm. overnight. So there's a ton of artists. And I remember the, the guys on the tour, it was uh, a guy named Jeff Moore, a guy named Chris Eaton, and then a guy named John Schlitt. And they were going on tour together, and it was the Eaton More Schlitt tour. That's right. Eaton More Schlitt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. Anyway. I, I screwed it up. I'm this with you. Podcast. I'm with you on that one. See you guys. Anyway, Thank you, Todd. Thank I, you so much. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sergeant Hetfield's Murder Breath Pub Band and Sandman. <laughs> Inner Sandman plus Tax Man. That's awesome. I love it. It's real okay. music. Annie, it's real music. Um, it's not just a clever name. He's up there. <laughs> the, uh, he's, now he's rocking. Um, the shitty Beatles. It's not just the a shitty Beatles. <laughs> that Wayne's World, I will say, just, just in general, Wayne's World is my top three movies of all time. And I would say at least once a day, some critical Wayne's World reference appears in my life. So thank you for being that reference today. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. What are your other top two? Like there's three. What are the other two? I've got Wayne's very, World 2. Very exquisite, uh, very sophisticated tastes. Uh, Team America. Uh, <laughs> that's another favorite. Uh, and probably the Lord of the Rings trilogy uh, slash Harry Potter. Those are tied for first. So. That's like uh, very, 11 very, movies. Yes. So technically my top, uh, you, you can see how good I am at math. You do the math. Um, yes. Those are, those are my, those are my favorites. I should say franchises. L-O-T-R okay. and um, Harry Potter and Wayne's World. And I love South Park. Team and Tower of Power. Power. That's music. And yes, Tower of Power. I love Tower of Power. That's another thing Sean and I do. If you, if you really want to know what we talk about, we literally will have arguments to the tunes of Tower of Power songs. I was in the Tower of Power ensemble in college and Thad being in marching band in high school and playing trumpet, obviously is totally up the butt of Tower of Power. So uh, we are like maybe the one couple on the face of the earth who can just be like- Yeah, I would say that like when you talk about, uh, <laughs> we see all these people, what are the keys to your success of being married for 38 years? You know, you have to learn you how to argue. Can rewrite and the lyrics to "There's only so much oil in the ground"? You you have to you have to learn. There's only to argue. so much milk in the fridge. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if anyway. you if you say, "Okay, we're about to start an argument," so for the sake of of, of progress you, in I our relationship, you're only allowed to make your point by using lines <laughs> from Tower of Power, okay. or pick your favorite band. Yeah. Then then it'll it'll uh de-escalate the situation and you'll you'll have to be forced to get your Lemmy. point across with the oh babe we've got a lemmy reference here too this this came up yesterday um lemmy was also a strong candidate to survive the apocalypse yes he was r.i.p um but we got a lemon tree from an estate sale the other day and thad looked at me and he said do you know what this lemon tree's name was and i looked at him and i was like it's lemmy isn't it he said yeah that's what i was thinking <laughs> And that's our marriage. Yeah. The ace of space. <laughs> he was trying to get his phone out to pull up Ace of Space. And I was like, is it Lemmy? Is its name Lemmy? No, we're going to play Ace of Space for the lemon tree. Anyway, I know we're going kind of like super deep cuts. I don't know who your demographic is who's watching this show. We may have lost a lot of people here at this point. I, I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've never cared less in the world ever. <laughs> um, I, I, I started this channel mainly to amuse myself. And here I am being amused. I, I'm as much in the chat and just sitting here for the enjoyment as anybody else. This is great. Um, I, I, I think that for whatever reason, and this is part of my gratitude toward you once again, yes. is it seems like people have forgotten that music 
and uh, the arts and all these things is supposed to be fun. Yeah. Like, well, and that's the spirit of future bass. And this has been so fun about this instrument is that so many people have, you know, wanted to know more about this instrument and thusly, you know, about what I'm doing and what he's doing and what we're doing musically. Um, and that's because it's fun and weird and different. And, uh, oh my gosh, the ruddles are so great. Yes. Um, yes. Me beat the needles. Uh, anyway, yes, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like a raccoon with this chat, but yeah, it's, it's all about having fun and, and not taking yourself too seriously. And I think, you know, we started out the podcast or the, the interview, we were talking about people dumping on you, man. Uh, and yeah, there's a lot of people who have dumped on uh, future base and been super annoyed about it. Um, and really? But can we, can we talk about it? Like who's dumping on that piece of I genius? Lots of lots of people, you know. I mean, and I haven't read the comments, and I have my my father, Cranston Clements, who'll be like, "Did you see what this person wrote on your video about future base?" Like, Dad, I don't, I don't want to know. La, la, la. Like, it doesn't help me to know. He gets so upset, and you know, just like any parent, you know, wants to go and and beat people up in a chat room or <laughs> whatever. But uh, but yeah, you know, definitely not Pooh Ninja. He's not he's not dumping on future base. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I constantly, I think anyone who's putting themselves out there is going to face some adversity and, you know, face people who, who don't get them or, you know, for whatever reason you, you, you set something off. And, um, I try to I try to not, not let it get me down. And I've been super fortunate to just have lots of really awesome fans who have become friends and, and people who have you know, been hanging out with me since the Sugarland days, and and now into Marin Morris and and beyond, and uh, yeah, you know, it comes with the territory, but you gotta you gotta just go for it. I would be in trouble with some people here, so I've done I've gone double screen because Dan's just popped off to sort out some technical issue. Um, playing with John Mayer, I have to ask, could you just sort of lightly dust the area with facts and emotions? <laughs> Yeah, I have um, a lot of like crazy connections to John. Again, like six degrees of Dolly, six degrees of, of John Mayer. So I ended up auditioning for Sugarland because of John Mayer's bass player at the time, a guy named Dave Labriere. Hi, Dan, hey. Hey. who was John's band leader back then in 2006 when I auditioned. And uh, John was doing the trio at that point in time. So Sugarland reached out to Dave saying, Hey, you know, I know John's doing this the trio thing. Do you want to come play with some shows at Sugarland? And he was like, No, but my friend Annie, who's I'm also from New Orleans, like like Dave Labriere, uh, Annie would be a really good fit. So that's how I got the opportunity to audition for them in the first place. And drove to Nashville, got the gig, moved to Nashville, met this guy, got married. Here we are. Uh, thank you, John Mayer. Um, but yeah, so then uh fast forward to oh uh, one nugget you're missing brandon brandon the oh, keyboard yeah. player in sugarland played uh, uh keyboards on like room for squares, squares in the first and, couple of yeah, albums a lot of the early oh wow early stuff and then david ryan harris who if y'all don't know who david ryan harris is you gotta you gotta dig him he's so awesome he's john's uh, one of the guitar players in john's band but he's an artist in his own right and i was on a tour opening for him as a solo artist and um yeah, so all these kind of random connections to John, and then Marin and John struck up a friendship, and Marin ended up singing backgrounds on the album that John is releasing, and so they decided to team up for the Grammys, and John actually is a big fan of Future Bass, which was super cool. I got a, a text from Don Was, who's, you know, the best of the best. Like Don, who, who is Don Wallace? The guy, you know, who's like Don yeah. Wallace. Um, I had, I have known him throughout the years of, he's come to some shows I've been playing on and have gotten to be friends with him. And he produced this album for John. And so Marin and I played the CMAs, which is where people saw this bass for the first time. And Don texted me, I was like, I'm in the studio with John. He wants to know what's up with, with that bass. <laughs> and so, uh, so thusly here we have future bass. So then by the time we got to Grammy rehearsals, because of you know some of our mutual friends and having seen the bass and Don and everything, he you know I was on his radar and and we just kind of you know just had a lot of fun hanging out and chatting and chatting about all of our our mutual friends and he's just he's just a really really he's 
he is just a genuine lover of music. Uh, and it's awesome to interact with somebody who is operating on that level, who really is just like a kid with a guitar, you know, learning to play mm -hmm. and loving it. He wants to learn everything about everything. Uh, he has such a, a curious mind and, uh, he's just, and he's so funny too. He's really, he's freaking hilarious. Uh, so yeah, he's, he's just, he's just a really cool guy. I really, I really love him a lot. He talked about someone who like doesn't take themselves too seriously. He was talking about making his album and all that stuff. And he's like, yeah, you know, I've been working on this album during the pandemic. I wanted to make some music that was kind of like comfort music for me and my youth during this crazy time. And so I'm going to go ahead and just release it and put it out into the world so that people can listen to it and go, meh. <laughs> what a badass. Like he totally he gets it. You know, you know? it's I it was it's just awesome. He's 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 awesome. So nothing but things to say about it. I mean I was <laughs> hoping for some dirt, but it sounds like there's none. Sorry, not anymore. You know, he's it seems like he's done a lot of uh personal journeying growth and stuff and has really come out on the other side of of you know some some tougher times so he's doing the work yeah every i, I think, think every, his, his uh, sorry no no i just think every every exchange that we've ever had uh, with him at his camp has been uh, here recently has just been so so lighthearted and like like clem said it's just everybody has their own voice whether you whether you prefer it or not it's one thing but the the fact that that he does have such kind of an open uh, look at things and then can also not take himself so seriously is is refreshing it's there's you know there's a handful of people that are like that that you come across in town and they're they're always they're always refreshing and different just because they have their talent and you might not call them for the specific session that you need or that you have uh but the the spirit and the vibe is you know, something that you want to be around. And that's, that's a big part of making music because you put one ingredient in and then you add somebody else. And then before you know it, you have, uh, you know, uh, you're, you're making a, a, a specific stew or your it's recipes. And so from, as far as being on the road, that's one of the, one that's of the funnest part, part of about it is, yeah, you might be able to, to be the, uh, an incredible shredder. You might be able to do these things, but once you go on tour, you know, you're you're on tour with an artist, and and you play a couple of guitar solos every night on a two-hour set. But the show was two hours, and you played less than a minute worth of guitar solos. Everything else was communicating with the band and 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 being and a team player, being a team, and seeing if you can come together to to collectively work an emotion high and low, and and mm -hmm. suck the the air out of the room. And and it's just it's cool to get get with people that that know that and get dialed in and get locked in and then know that you're doing something big together yeah uh, i don't know yeah oh man i don't want to sleep tonight i want to keep going um <laughs> it's like it's, it's of, like a having a, a month's worth of subjects in one yeah. stream it's amazing you, you guys are just full of knowledge and emotion and, and genuine honesty it's really really refreshing and, uh, and a little bit of poop yeah <laughs> I'm upset. I'm sorry. Now let's you let's just keep streaming until one of us can't any longer. <laughs> and what time is it where you guys are? Yeah, what time is it in Austria? And are you is your house flooded or your roof collapsed from a storm? <laughs> Hopefully uh, not, right? I'm, it's quarter past ten at night. Uh, I'm in the basement, so it could well be flooded, and that that window's pretty <laughs> airtight. So uh, and, and you have children as well, correct? Yeah, I got two kids. And how old are they? My boy has just turned four. My daughter's about to turn six and is therefore not sleeping because she's too excited. Oh, yes. Now, do I they, do they sh share your same zeal for uh, life and, and, and have similar curiosity? Um, even more so. My son is an absolute troublemaker in the sense that he just knows what's funny. He knows he's funny. He knows what's naughty. My daughter is slightly the more serious side, more like her mom. And although I'm fairly serious also, but she is, um, she's full of life. She dances and sings to everything. She has, 
uh, they both have instruments available to them. Like Dan's also got kids, so we, mm -hmm. we both give them instruments and um, not, of course, force it upon them, but they often just pick them up and noodle and hit each other with them. You know, the, the, the <laughs> oh, that hit was a good sound. I think, you know, yeah. try that again. Yeah. I love it. Oh. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm reading the, uh, is that buzz Buzzle? Buzzle uh, yep. program, three hour gigs. Yes, that's exactly what Side Piece does. So before the pandemic, we were playing two nights a week um, downtown Broadway in Nashville, which is kind of like the Bourbon Street of, of, of Nashville. And um, four hour gigs, no breaks uh, for a pregnant woman. You know, it was kind of, it was kind of insane, but also amazing. And uh, it's the most fun. Like, you know, and I do with that on a Monday and Tuesday, and then I get on the bus on a Wednesday night and I go play arenas for thousands of people and it's all awesome <laughs> like that's the whole point uh is that it's so fun no matter what it is uh yes and toilet humor always works it works for me <laughs> when, when you were i tour with who sorry, sorry uh when you were pregnant uh, and you were playing bass did yeah. you go that way with the bass or did you go that way with the bass I went this way and um, oh, that it way. was really fun when we were down on uh, Broadway because a lot of times when you're playing those gigs, people will buy the band a round of shots. And so the biggest compliment I would get is that you know, someone would come up and hand me a shot and then I'd be like, um, I'm six months pregnant. <laughs> 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 oh God, I'm sorry. Like, but I'm glad you didn't know. So that's, that's a compliment. <laughs> that's a win for me. That's a W. So yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it's pretty crazy. It did get to the point where I started sitting down on a stool um, and also having our guitar player play bass so that I could go run to the bathroom and stuff on occasion. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, but man, it's super this is so much fun. Super fun to make, make your own destiny, you know, in, in that way. And that's, that's a big mission with side piece is that being a side person, you're, um, you know, beholden to whatever your your employer is doing. So, you know, if they decide to cancel a tour or do whatever, like you're you're out of luck. So you're shit out of luck, poo ninja. Uh, so <laughs> we made this band so we could uh, do our own thing, and it's been it's been uh, it's been great. We've got we play a lot of private gigs and a lot of parties and uh, stuff around town. So I have a question. Oh yeah. Uh, well, it's it's, it's uh can you can you share kind of what what the thought was by going and playing in broadway maybe share what broadway does or what happens on broadway or do you want me to just do it you just do it yeah, okay I'm to... so downtown nashville there's a strip of clubs called broadway and it's where folks move to town and there's bands everywhere and people just go sit in and you you're you know like you're the ralph macchio and you're going to show up and you have to take <laughs> on Oh, uh, you mean Steve Vai. being the place yeah. for women? Yeah. Yes. And so now you, most of those, most of that world is set up where it's guy bands and guys show up and do these things. And there's never been a space for a female to come to town and and really have the opportunity to hop in because you know. Uh, well, it's just as I always say downtown, it's it's intimidating for. Um, you know anybody to walk up to a stage with people and be like hey can i can i play in your sandbox but it's especially intimidating i think for uh you know a woman a young woman who's maybe never had the opportunity to be on stage reported to walk up to a bunch of you know maybe intimidating looking dudes and be like hey i, I want to try to sing a song so side piece is so great because when we play shows we always want women to get up and take a chance and play and i mean and that's talk about like live music happening once and that's the moment and that's it and it's gone that's the most fun that we have uh playing shows is when somebody who's like works up the nerve to get up on stage and they're like all right you know do you know this song this dolly parton song you know i, I want to sing jolene with you guys and we're like yeah we'll play it let's go then we shake hands with them and we play the song and sometimes it's uh sometimes it's great but even when it's a total train wreck the audience is so happy to see somebody mm -hmm. take a chance that it's just so uplifting and exciting for everyone. And that's, that's the whole mission of the band is we need more women playing. Uh, you know, we need more everybody playing, but uh, that's what we try to be, you know, it's just a, a safe, fun spot for, for folks to, to take a chance. Yes. Yeah, so. The, it's the, uh, I guess it's an opportunity for people to, 
to uh, we live in a Photoshop world, you know, so right. everybody gets to see the best the best angle or the best thing. And, and they don't see it's, the it's hard. It's hard. To, yeah, it's hard to take a chance nowadays. And I think you guys provide that, which is pretty rad. They did this gig uh, not too long ago. And occasionally they'll have gigs and say, hey, we don't have a sound man. You're going to have to come do it. Yeah. And so I, so it's like <laughs> date night. It's like, oh, it's date night. I'll go and uh, run the PA, be your tech and, and uh, mix front of house. <laughs> and um, so the there's all these women who are amazingly talented. And I think they've they have this rule, which is if we get a request and one of us has heard it or knows it, we have to play it. And I have a whole list of songs that I want to publish on the internet of songs you should not try to fake your way through yeah. in front of a live audience. So they do that this. We've attempted. They do this. Have. They do this gig, and um, uh, normally I'm used to you know uh, uh, they they do a great job on most of them. But what was the song? The other <laughs> I think it was an Indigo Girls song. No, no, oh, no. Oh, it no, was no. I Get Around the Beach Boys. Yeah. Do not do not try to play any. Beach um, you you think you I mean it's like you think you know it so well and you're just like oh yeah I get around I got that uh don't got it don't got it all I remember is after we're driving <laughs> I looked over at bed we're playing that around get around I get around I get around, Ooh, I get around. like I can't even play it now and, and then it modulates and I'm kind of looking at the guitar player like and she did it. I'm like, no. And and I look over at Thad, and he's just sitting there like, <laughs> it's like it's half like happy and like I can't believe it's happening and half completely horrified and disgusted. But at the same time, everyone in the in the uh, crowd is going ballistic and they're having the best time of their life. And meanwhile, you guys are are in panic mode. So it's it just kind of it's some disaster. sometimes the spirit. The spirit overrides the technicalities of it, yeah. and uh, the that spirit feels better than what is coming out sounds like. Yeah, and it's helpful when <laughs> the spirits are not captured and then put on the internet for all to see for eternity. So it's if you if you want to, you can just look moment. upside, please play, play, and I get around. <laughs> and and get around. Can, can, no, no, it'll be close up to my face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sweet. <laughs> Well, do you guys have any other questions or anything you want to know? Actually, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure if everyone in the chat is already aware of uh, what like the, the story of the, the base of the future is. Maybe you can give us like a little bit of a rundown, like how that all came together and, and like how you're using that on a daily basis. Yeah, sure. Um, so Marin's second record that she put out has a lot of synth bass lines and um, it was like we were trying to make decisions about, well, am I going to have another keyboard on stage and, you know, a keyboard and a bass? And I'm up front, I'm downstage. And uh, I was just like, man, it would be such a buzzkill to just have like a keyboard on a stand right up front, like the whole show for me mm -hmm. to play yeah. on like three or four songs. So Thad and I somehow, I think it was your idea, like we should just put a little keyboard on your bass. Um, and it's like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. And, uh, thusly the, the Anna Clement space of the future was born. And, um, so on tunes of Marin's where the line, you know, well, I don't know. We don't have, we only have this like jump sound <laughs> that I've been rocking earlier. <laughs> um, but yeah. But anyway, uh, normally we would dial up the sound for the bones and I could play you, you know, the bass line to that tune. This is the verse pattern. And so I play the verses or the choruses on the bass and then I play the verses on the keys. So it's been super handy for all that stuff. And it seems like more and more people are wanting bass players who are familiar with synth bass uh, yeah. and that's just becoming a part of the sound, even in country music, uh, who to thunk it, but, but here we are. So, so yeah, I use it, I use it for that. And, and it's also just a super, super fun thing to play around with. I have a technical question, if I may, because if people don't know, I also um, attempted to build one and it went pretty well and I didn't have the same awesome. parts. 
um i had a lot of fun and you know I, i'm not a it's funny because i'm not a bass player or a piano player so it was like <laughs> let's do two things i can't do um <laughs> so but somehow with the combination of both instruments i managed to do something and it was fun and as I, I think we've established that's the, the end goal and um i i can't play the g string at all because of the like uh, where's yours positioned you might have your angle too too angly um I don't know if you can see right here, but let's see. So I've got ah. plenty of clearance here. What's your clearance, Clarence? So yeah, I've I've got I've got plenty of room. But yours is on the jazz bass, which I think I mentioned in my video that you have that little bit extra of the lower yeah, bout. Yeah. Yeah. And the, so the, I, the 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 uh the crazy thing about um, a lot of these modern, the modern world of touring is each department is tied together, whether they're using time code or, you know, whatever the protocol is, because the LD, the lighting director, the front of house guys pulling delays off of that stuff. Each cue from uh, video world is coming off that stuff. And uh, it then goes back and all the sounds are generated from one master show computer that's doing, but because everything's happening, you know, MIDI changes for a lot of the keyboard guys are happening as time code goes by. So the hard part was just kind of thinking, how are we going to, you know, how are we going to interface with everybody across, across a massive stage? Mm -hmm. And that was, that was the biggest thing where you're thinking, okay, we're going to have to, get line drivers involved and and you can't rely in a touring setting on wireless MIDI. No, or and that was kind of talking about some of the the poo comments that people did on the future base video that I made. There was a lot of like, why don't you just go wireless? It's like, can't really do that at the Grammys, dog. <laughs> like there's a lot of frequencies flying around and like can't... Yeah, like and those things they don't even let you and they 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 have the star the star vocals they allow to be wireless. Yeah. Uh, and then every other Everything instrument, microphone, hardwired. everything's hardwired because you got to yeah, think okay. everybody there has a wireless in-ear pack. Yeah. As, mm -hmm. as, so it's like they're very kind of strict on on frequency allocations. And so, I mean, it was a it was a it was interesting. Interesting. It was a lot of back and forth with the keyboard guy and how mm -hmm. he was running things and how we needed it to talk to what he was doing. So it's not just, oh, you just take the uh, you take the USB mini and plug it into your iPad and uh run it through the thing and it was like i didn't anticipate all of the the levels of oh so now we got it this far now we've got to convert that to this to get it to x y and z so it was pretty it was pretty um as 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 simple as it seems uh this part's easy it was the communicating with the rest of the world yeah. so that that what she was doing could play nicely with the lighting guy which right. was the, <laughs> the, the hard part I just imagine this scene where you're playing the verse on the on on the keys, and then the lights go off and come back on and stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Grammys. Yeah. <laughs> That's ultimate power. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Beavis and Butthead do America when they uh, took out the Hoover Dam and, and shut down the power. I'm just giving you more more taste of my exquisite cinema. Cinema yeah. fun. <laughs> you ever see Beavis and Butthead do America? It's a great movie. Of course. They're With the really uh, roller coaster, wasn't it? Yes. Roller coaster. Wait, no. no I'm, I'm way out of tune here. There it is. Roller coaster. Wow. Yeah. Beavis and Butthead. Oh boy! It's been a pleasure. Yeah, um, we still need need to see a show. It's called "Ain't Talking About Poo." <laughs> yeah. Ain't talking it's about poo. Literally, his fantasy football team. That's right. ATP. Uh, <laughs> we talked and, about it. And it had much. to be called the ATP. He couldn't even write "Ain't Talking I, About yeah. Poo" because he was cut off. It, we were against. It was against the rules. Yeah. Well, we were both trying to do like a cleanse at the same time on that tour. And that also got vetoed. Which if we really want to get into the nitty gritty, uh, sure. colon cleanse while on tour, not good idea. It's a non-starter. Yeah. So for anybody out there that is about to go on tour, it's not the time to consider uh, cleansing your colon. It's really not. 
Yeah, even mm-hmm. though it's healthy. Yeah. Um, the jury's still out on that too. Yeah, and I'm sure there's some. I'm sure there's some tours that take a colonic technician. This is where it a, says we are not medical professionals. Please consult your medical professional yeah. before doing anything <laughs> on tour. <laughs> yeah. So if you're if you're a, a a colon specialist who wants a gig on tour, uh, let us know. Give us a call. <laughs> there must be someone. There has to be. <laughs> who wouldn't want to go on tour? Well, Dan okay. and I often looking for we look for a little soundbite to put at the beginning of the show or some sort of thing to put on a thumbnail or or text, and I think we've just found it. What <laughs> is it? ATP. Oh, ATP. Awesome. ATP. Hey, um. Are we going to show the my dog video now at the uh, as the send off? Oh, I, I um, I'm not sure. I I because I, I had it loaded up on the other system. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can go and talk like five more minutes about poo and and other stuff. Yeah, just and just give me a second. I can I can yeah. grab it very very yeah. quickly. Well, well, maybe I'll talk maybe. about a little bit about the video if that's okay. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So um. When I wrote this song, when I wrote my dog that morning, um, you know, it was about a dude, a mystery made up dude who was a butthole. And, uh, and yeah, we recorded the song and I didn't really know what to do with it. And cause I'm not, you know, I'm not really like known as an artist. I'm known as a, a side, side woman. Um, so I kind of sat on it and then our sweet dog passed away, which was so so tragic and totally unexpected. And it was on Christmas day. Uh, and it was, oh, no. it was heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. Um, and so ultimately we decided to use the song to be a tribute to her, to her memory. And so, uh, I put together this video with footage of her doing all her stuff and all the great memories we have of her. And, um, then it's a tribute to her now to Steli, our blue tick coon hound. And um, all, some of the proceeds are going to the Nashville Humane Society. So they, you know, get dogs new homes and get dogs taken care of. So if you uh, download it or buy it or anything, um, a portion of the proceeds go go to them. So it's for a good cause. And, uh, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. And it uses the word shit. There's some poo reference in there for all you poo fans. So Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though, to, to be honest. Is, yeah. Throughout the years, uh, uh, I I love to 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 talk about the poop stuff and then go, oh, that reminds me of the time that that we saw someone do something really cool with music for a charity piece, and that's the the it's such a powerful tool, and I think we forget about it. It it uh, you know we've worked with a nonprofit here in Nashville that that just sends musicians to the hospital to sing to kids with uh, that that are there, and you don't realize until you walk into the room and that that their parents will say, well, we haven't smiled in, uh, in, in months or someone has another drive and they raise money for uh, any, any number of thousands of charities. And so we can see how a song literally can change the world, you know, whether all the way back to Michael Jackson to, to, um, seeing just the little things that people can do on tour by connecting to something. And it's, it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a powerful, powerful thing. And it's fun to, it's fun to be a part of all of the various, uh, initiatives and drives, and then just to see it, to see the great things that our friends do uh, with the things that that they get connected with is pretty freaking rad. Uh, how how big a deal uh, music is, uh, just don't take it too seriously. Yeah. Thank you so Excellent much. Excellent advice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess then we'll we'll play my dog to play us out. Then we'll just come back and say goodbye. And um, do all the emotional stuff at the end. But um, <laughs> uh, so let's play my dog and then say goodbye. Um, yeah. Let's hope, let's hope it works. <laughs> But if you're asking me, that expression is entirely wrong Because a dog is loyal, a dog is true No, he ain't nothing like you If you were my dog, you'd jump with joy Every time I came home Have zero interest in your stupid cell phone But we'd be dancing in the kitchen And I'd scratch all of your itches If you 
But you were my man and I caught you eating out of garbage can Ain't picking your shit up with my own bare hands Think of how much better we'd be getting along If you were my dog Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that just sums up everything that music should be about. Like, it was an insane mix. There was a great, catchy tune. There was cool memories, uh, like emotions. Oh, boy. That would, I, I had a dog when I was much younger, and it, its name was uh, Quincy Jones, like the producer. And I love that dog so much. And uh, I could totally see him, like, listening to that song. And, yeah, it just takes me back to to that time. So wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, we've lost the audio for our, our wonderful guests. We don't oh, know. No, why. No. Oh, oh, they've 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 dropped completely. <laughs> well, that was that's, I guess that's goodbye then. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that was... Oh, they're coming back. They're coming back. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they turn it off and on again? Oh, we can't hear you um, guys. Huh, what what happened? Apparently, I've done something. Naughty Andy. I, I did mute. What does that mean? Ah, you unmuted me. I, hey. uh, apologies. That's okay. We're back. This is live television, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you all so much. This has been so much fun. And uh, what a treat to get to hang out with all of your friends. Uh, and and uh, and do this. So and thanks for honoring our pup with yeah, the video there. Yeah, thank you for sharing the video and for debuting Side Pieces first video. We're so excited. Um, yeah, and and keep doing what you're doing because we yeah. need uh, we need we need this spirit in the world. So thank you for what you do. Heck yeah, and keep it coming because uh, uh, I need to be able to see these videos and then show Clem what you're up to. He calls me Clem, by the way, if anyone's confused about what's happening. Oh, uh, my last name is Clemens, my maiden name. And so, yeah, everyone, my friends call me Clem. And, and my husband, who's also my friend. And you're all friends now, so she's Clem, <laughs> yeah, she's you Clem call me to Clem. you. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, it's all Clem Thank you. you. Amazing. Well, we had a ball tonight. Thank a few you people have said this is their favorite episode, which is Aww. which is lovely. Lucky uh, I'm gonna let's show this on the screen. Nissan 570 LS, LS, LSX says, I don't want to take anything away from other streams, but this may have been the best. And Aww. they're all different. They're all wonderful in their own way. But this one has certainly been special, Dan. Um, yep. I've had a joy, joyful time. Yep. And uh, Poo, Poo Ninja says, dogs fill a big place in human hearts. They also fart a lot. <laughs> 
never forget it. Thanks, Pooh Ninja. Yeah, thanks, Pooh Ninja. Seriously. That almost Pooh rhymes. Uh, Pooh, if you could rewrite that so it rhymes, that would be great, please, because you're so close. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we just do some housekeeping before you go. Dan's going to ask people to leave us five stars on the audio version. If you would do that, sir. Of course. Uh, if you enjoyed uh, listening to Clem and Thad and uh, Andy and me, give us a five-star rating on iTunes. Make sure we get some more visibility. Uh, also, make sure to subscribe to Andy's channel and check out Clem's videos. Yeah. Instagram channel. I think you go live occasionally. Is that right? Very occasionally, usually only yeah, when there's yeah, technical yeah. difficulties on some other engagement I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we, we almost made it to the end of that complaint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's, not, that's the only time I go live. That's why I'm always like confused, like, oh my God, yeah. I can't believe this is working. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> guys, I'm I'm so hoping for it for a YouTube show, Ain't Talking About Poo with yeah. two of you yeah, guys. Yeah, we're talk, always talking about, about stuff. I, I would I would totally watch that like every single episode. <laughs> yeah. Netflix, Netflix exclusive or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's that's how you get your music out there these days is to do something unrelated. <laughs> that's great. Okay, well oh, yes, thank um, you for stuff. Oh uh, yeah, awesome. that's that's Valeria. She's one of our moderators. She is always on top of everything. So oh, thanks, Valeria. thank you. Um, yeah, um, I guess we're gonna go. Um, I hope you're available next week because uh, I want to, I want you back next week. <laughs> um, That's fine, anytime. I love it. I had such a great time. Thank you. In all Thank seriousness, we Sorry, will have I'm you back at some party. time. No, um, great. no, and then bring the band next time, bring side piece. Um, yeah. we would love that. Let's plan on that for sure. We'll get everyone over here and we'll play some tunes. We'll take some requests, play some and, beach balls. What could go wrong? That, Next time you're doing PA, Thad, can you please record the Beach Boys tunes? Because I'm going to. Oh do man, uh, I, I'll, I'll get you some. Uh, so I'll get you some gems and pass I them along. Don't get around. Thank <laughs> you, sir. Yeah. You guys are awesome. Thanks so yeah, much. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Oh, There's no outro, so we'll we'll do our. We just have to do a freeze frame, okay? And I'll end the okay. stream.